consensus of the of Rango on these various categories. Okay. Now that doesn't mean that when you look for a consensus that you won't also find some really strong opposites. Okay. Perhaps because of class structure and so on and so forth. Sexual um, promiscuity or permissiveness is perhaps a lot more acceptable in the uneducated classes than the educated classes. So those types of differentiations are still part of the consensus. But we're not concerned about what Mr. Pugh thinks about this, not today. Okay? After we've got a sense of what the world of the play is, then the individual actors, I like to use the expression, are going to put on your own egocentric mask and start to look at the world, that world, through the eyes of that character and decide whether or not you're part of the group or on the edge of the group or like poor old Polly Garter, way outside the edge of the group, living a life of her own. Try to sing as a whole. And what I mean by that is you should hear the person next to you more than you hear yourself singing. <laughs> A good key to see if you're playing well, which is good for everyone, to know if your blend is right, if you're not singing too loudly, and if you're thinking of a chorus, is that you should be able to hear the person next to you more than you hear your own voice. If you hear your own voice too much, obviously you have to keep your, for yourself if you're singing the right notes. Um, yeah, unless you can feel it in your throat, some people really feel the notes in their throat, but that's another story. Yeah, you should be hearing other people. More, and they'll help you sing more in tune, not necessarily in tune to uh, a perfectly tuned instrument, but tune to yourself. John. What a day You're going to be using that. You're also going to be working with the image, and we'll layer it in. I'm going to be guiding you through this. Of, it's an image because we don't have this, unfortunately. But I want you to imagine that you've got eyes on the body so that I can see what's on top of me, what's behind me, what's below me, as well as what's in front of me, the sides of me. And not only am I going to imagine that. Eyes, all of my skin, but I can use all of my skin too. So 360 degrees of eyes and ears. Mm -hmm. And whose is this? This will be for Roxy. They're all going to have different like slashing and tying. And, okay. Because um, with the knots and everything, it's going to make like a, a, a fishing net. It's going to be laced up in the front. What's going on here? This is to make sure all of your buttons are going to be equidistant. Exactly. Ooh, I a, learned math. That was a big word. That's like your sheet of reference, I guess? Yeah. Just to make sure I don't go too crazy. Okay. So you're just gonna, wow, that's uh, you're gonna paint that all over the entire tie? Yeah, I'm gonna kind of like make it swirl. <gasps> Fun. I am uh, putting the swags into the skirt. What are swags? The swags are the, the pickups. The fun pickups. <laughs> oh. Straight down. Oh, fun. Yeah. See, don't sh it's it's good that I'm here to ask what these things are because nobody else would know what they are. Very good point. Thanks to me. 
<laughs> you now know what's why Yep, yep. <laughs> Well, I'm just filling in some holes and cracks uh, before I start painting, or else I'm going to get like a drill hole here and some like imperfections. Okay. What I want to do is pretty much make this look similar to this. They're one of the trees that are going on stage left and stage right. This trees? Way. Yeah, they, they're supposed to look like ship wheels, not ship wheels, uh, sails, and uh, we're going to be hanging some of the costumes off that. Some of the costumes? Yes, the costumes. Okay, some costumes, cool. Some props, depending on. Uh, so it's like multi purpose. Yeah, it's a big old clothes rack. That's awesome. And how many of these are there going to be? We have two one on stage left and one on stage right. Oh, okay. And in the middle, there's going to be a big ship's wheel, which is in its pieces at the moment. Oh, okay. That is really cool. And you guys are going to be able to carry this to Scotland. It should all fit in this. Young girls, I bet it's soft or blind in their dreams with rings and trousseau, eyes made by glowworms down the aisles of the Oregon playing wood. The boys are dreaming with horror the bucky wrenches of the night and the jolly Roger C. The babies are sleeping. 